Welcome back to Design Fusion YouTube channel. I'm Vishal Patel. In this video, we will see generative design capabilities inside of Annex. So, generative design is a process that determines the most efficient shape based on the defined material, loads, and constraints. Sometimes the generative design is also referred to as a topology optimization. In this example, we will use this mounting bracket, which is connected to damper and a frame of the race car. Now, this part was originally designed to be manufactured with a subtractive method. So it's pretty straightforward design. But by optimizing this part, we will be able to reduce some weight and cost. And then the part can be manufactured with additive method, such as 3D printing. So let's begin the generative design process. To begin with, we will need a design space. This is sort of a boundary box for the optimization criteria. And since the part is symmetric, the design space covers only the half of the component. And finally, to avoid any interference with other components of an assembly, I have created these bounding bodies for those components. Moving on to the topology optimization tab, we have a tool called Manage Bodies. Here we will set up the optimization criteria. So I'm going to go ahead and define the design space to the setup. And once that is done, we can go ahead and define the design constraints. As we know, the part is symmetric, so we will have to define the planar symmetry by selecting the symmetry face. Now let's add the optimization features. You can automatically add all the recognized features from the model. Then select each feature to edit the options. For this top hole here, we can add the material around that hole by defining the offset thickness. We can also set the constraints for these features. For example, a fixed location for this top hole. This other hole near cylinder will be holding a bolt, so I need some material there as well. Now let's pick other bodies and add them to the feature list. This is our keep out zones, so where we do not need any material. And lastly, we need to add load cases. In the first load case, for this vertical hole, let's put 2000 Newton in minus Z direction. And for another hole, I will add force as individual component instead of one single value. So 6000 Newtons for X and 2000 Newtons um, for Z. Notice that the negative values will reverse the direction of the force and system will automatically calculate the resultant force. And similarly, let's add the second load case and related load values. So we have finished setting up the loads and constraints. Now let's assign the material to the design body. 
I'm going to use aluminium 6061 for this example. Moving on to set up the optimization calculation criteria, we have few options for optimization type. You can minimize the strain subject to the mass target value, or you can minimize the volume by subjecting the, the material safety factor, or you can also maximize the natural frequency of the component subject to the mass target value. Since I want to reduce the weight to the desired value, while keeping the deformations low, I will go with the first option. Then you can set the resolution of the output converging body. You can either use a slider bar or enter manually the desired value. The higher value will output coarse body but gives quick results, while lower value will yield smooth body but will increase the calculation time. Finally, I want the mass target to be 125 grams. And now we are ready to run the optimization. The log entry will show any errors, warnings, and other information. And depending on what resolution you set, you can expect the results sooner or later. Once the calculations are done, we can see the output convergent body. It is also important to check the displacement and stress values of the component in the component. So the displacement is just around a millimeter. And the stresses are around 329 megapascal. Now, if desired values are not achieved for displacement and stress values, you can always go back and make changes and run another iteration. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos.